okay guys for now i have only few subscribers so i'm going to drop the first video which is going to cover scholarship in finland it's going to cover scholarship in finland now my next video will be based on my subscribers so if i get 100 subscribers then those subscribers are going to decide which country i should cover next so try as much as possible to share this video to your brothers and sisters out there who want to study or have scholarship to study in other countries of their choice financial means shouldn't be um a way or uh, a challenge for you to not study in the best institution that you've ever wanted to study yes as i always say that um being able to get a scholarship only 30 percent of the, those um, achievements can be attributed to your academic excellence sometimes you've made the gpa but you don't even know the right sources or the right people to turn to or the kind of information you can really where you to even get the necessary information to do make those applications so i'm going to take my time one by one if you have not watched my previous video please go and watch my previous videos as to um the way i wanted this whole scholarship thing to go so today i'm going to cover for finland that is what i'm going to cover for today so um please stay tuned and then um, let's see what will happen but don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then also to click on the notification bar in case there is any other video you can actually get to um see what is happening and then when it's time for us to even get the new um scholarship um country like the next country for the scholarship you can make sure that your dream country can be um, attended to so kindly share this video for other people to also watch yeah okay so today we actually decided to be going to um um finland that is what we are going that is like the place we are going right now so this video we are going to focus more on finland as in how to get scholarship in finland as a country um being it nursing or any other kind of program how you can get scholarship there are scholarships there but if you don't know you don't know yes as i said i applied about 24 and at least i've had about 10 guys just um last week i got a series of text messages from people that i was so glad to at least assist that they've gotten scholarships in germany and in norway and i was so happy and there are more to come so i think i should make this series of videos and keep it here so that you can watch it at your convenience and you can follow these processes and get a scholarship for your own self okay good so now before i start this process what we are supposed to look out for is that anytime you want to look for a scholarship let's ask ourselves which country do i want to go so for now i put myself that uh i mean okay i am in i come from ghana but it doesn't matter where you come from for now i'm in ghana and i want to gain scholarship to study in finland what is the process i'm supposed to follow and what exactly am i, am I supposed to do before and after getting that scholarship so the first thing is let's get either a phone or a computer or a laptop anything so i'll go to google and i'll just type study in finland yeah good so now i have study in finland now when i google study in finland most of the times on your computer you can get an advert you can get some ADD here, all those information and adverts. But most of the times, one thing is that when you want to apply it to other countries, you might not necessarily really know which site should take you to the place. This thing has been a challenge for most our guys that I direct them to do something. So today I want to clear the air. One thing is that we are looking for a site that contains information about the universities and the scholarships that we can get in finland and most of the european countries and other countries the more developed countries have this site as a government hosted site that you can find at least basic information um concerning the programs in the institutions in the country if not all of them at least the public ones 
and then they will try to also give you some information whether scholarships are available in the country or they are not the key thing is that we have the scholarship so there's no need for us to waste our time trying to look for other information that are not necessary so you can see steady in finland.fi okay and we have the finland symbol here you can also study steady in info.fi we don't know what is it yet now you can say www.helsinki.fi admission something some something this doesn't really like yeah migri.fi do we are seeing .fi education education.com i think all of these things are here they can help but they don't really direct us to the 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 main thing we are looking for we want a website that contains something like f finland and also describe what we are looking for so i think the first one is good that we can select them so let's select and see good now when i select this page i have steadyinfo.fi okay so the information on this page actually um tells me that okay this information belongs to finnish government now if you want to doubt it let's go back and select any other page and let's see okay this is almost like the same because this site and this site are the same why are they the same because this is www.steadyinfinland.fi and this is www.steadyinfinland.fi slash um admission study program so this is the parent website for this this particular page yeah so let's check something here this is steady in finland steady in eu i think this one will be far because this one will talk about all the programs uh all the countries in eu and that is not really what we are looking for actually it seems like my network is very short i don't know whether that is because of streaming difficulty or something like that but i don't know why my network seems to be very slow right now or maybe the site okay so mm, let's just go back to what you are looking for i think it's not really slow but what is happening okay so um so we are in this page in here our focus is on a uh, scholarship so we try to look for this place whether the country has some scholarship to offer so in every every most of the developed countries they all have similar sites we can see the investing list we can see the admissions the scholarships and then life in Finland. So our attention will go on the scholarships. Now in the scholarships, we have fees and cost. We are not interested in that. Bachelor's and master's scholarship, doctoral scholarships. Yeah, these two are of importance. But for now, we focus on the bachelor's and the master's scholarship. So we click there. What information do we have here? Okay, this says that Finnish higher education institutions offer a range of scholarships options for those um non EU and EU student who are required to pay tuition fees. Okay, each university of then 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 okay blah, blah. but here is of importance you usually apply for a scholarship from the university at the same time when you apply for admission so it means that the the universities have scholarship and these scholarships can uh, also be given to you uh, like you can get these scholarships when you apply for admission so this actually tells us that there is not any separate um application uh, for scholarship that you need to apply later after you've applied for the admission. Good. And it says that check out the details for each program in the study info.fi. Now we know that the country has scholarships that it is offering. So the next thing that we do is um, what are the programs there? We can check the investors there, but looking at the investors there, sometimes it's not really good because the kind of program that you will be running might not be uh be run by the the university the investor of your choice so the first thing is try to find a program in that country that you like then you can look out for uh, uh which type of university is actually running such a program good so now we use this option okay so now we are in this place that it says that steadyinfo.fi with my in my understanding i think steady info steadyinfo.fi gives us um like steady info it's like steady information.fi like steady information about finland but in here there are a lot of tons of information but if nothing at all we know that whatever programs that we want to study based on our previous website those programs can be found here so the only thing is that in order for us not to waste time we just go for search for steady options so an example what do I want to search for? I want to search for photonics. 
photonics is just um, the study the science and technology of light okay so then i first enter so this is actually a finland database that contains all the university programs and the universities and what they are doing and blah 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 okay so um this is what happens now if i search for the program photonics Photonics um, is the program that is a um, science and technology of light. So what happens here is that, um, so what happens, hey, so when I search for the program Photonics, this is what happens. Now I can see that from the page, I can see um, search result for Photonics. And then we have steady options, then information and stories and educational institutions. So we have no result for that. Um, information and stories, we just have no research results. And steady options that is where our interest we are going to actually focus um, a lot so an example is um, photonics masters of science in physics okay so in here like on this page you can really get to know the kind of um, that is the kind of institutions that are running these photonics programs okay so in here you can see that uh, you can see whether those photonic, those are uh, the particular program you are searching for, and then the related programs that are also uh, programs that are also related to the topic you search for. Okay, but there's one guide. One guide is that when you have a long program, let's say um, masters in telecommunication, it is wise or it would be wise for you to actually leave the the masters in and just type telecommunication the keyword so that you can really get to know programs that are related to that particular keywords okay good so with this one for instance i can see that i have photonics masters of science it's physics then in here i can see that it is a master's degree from here and then the next line is the university that is running that particular program and it's the university of eastern finland faculty of science and forestry UNSU. uh UNSU campus that is the campus and then the town is UNSU, UNSU or UNSU. The town is not so much important right now. And then here you have an additional information. If the program is ongoing, you can see that the application period would be somewhere here. Good. So the next program is Master of Science in Technology in Photonics um, Technologies, and it's also two years. So in here you can see it's a master's degree. But sometimes these results, not all of them are programs that is that are university courses a university program some are just short courses that is some credit hour courses so let's try and see which of these research results are, um, are programs university full term university programs and some of them are which one of them are courses right now so the next is electronics and technology of something something like you just find it so you can see from here that this one is also a master's degree and then the university running it is auto uh, University School of Engineering, Electrical Engineering, and the location is in Espo, Finland. Good. This one is also a doctoral studies. Okay, so you can see this one, the written application is ongoing. So if you have nothing like that here, it means that the application period is not, uh, the application is not ongoing. But then that does not mean that you cannot assess everything that you need to know. So we have quantum technology, Master of Bachelor of Medical in Medical Imaging and Masters of Science and Chemical something something Masters of Degree Program in Biomedical Science and something something and as much as possible. So when you have more, you can see that all of them are listed. Now, in here we have some filters that uh, you can use because we are filtering by language that is English language, and then we are universities. We have bachelor's degree seven of them vocational education seven of them so the program we are looking for is photonics and then we have this university and this university Tampere university and then university of eastern finland faculty of uh, science and forestry UNSU campus UNSU. so our the next thing to do is to select on the program so in here you know that university of eastern finland is the one right running this particular program so if you want more information on it you just click on the program or perhaps you can just search the university from google so search and then faculty of forestry uef okay so this is the university and then whatever information that you want to know from the university you can look for that but 
before even that we can still be checking the main menu the, the, the main page where we have this information there so we can just select photonics masters of science that is in um, physics and uh, let's open and see what we have there okay so now when the program is opened there are three main tabs here for every application for every application there are three main tabs program description um, application process and the university the same applies to any other program so let's try this one and see we have program description application process and then the university there's a stamper university good so let's get back to photonics so in photonics here we have the program description the application process and then the university this tax actually talks about uh, the area of specialization like so if you're interested in fiber optics it means that you can do this course if you're interested in integrated optics you can do this course nanophotonics you can do optical design you can do optical tele whatever whatever you can do now from the program description we can see that the start date is first of september 2020 for this very year that is those who applied last year okay but in next year, that is 2021, we are going to get somewhere around 1st of September 2021. And language of instructions is English, teaching, day, contact hours, this, and something like that. Now, we already know that Finnish, uh, Finland is offering scholarships. So we've searched for the program. The program came. Now, the most important thing we have to check is that whether that particular kind of program we are after or we've gotten has a scholarship. Because if the program doesn't have scholarship, of and i know some of them don't have scholarship there's no need for us to waste our time trying to look for more information about the program unless you are ready to pay um 12 000 euros a year for school fees but if not then there's no need so the first thing the first place we have to fast quickly go to is um tuition fees and all other programs have similar alignment like all other programs have similar alignment they are all arranged like this, the way this is arranged. So an example is, I will always try to compare with other programs for you to know that it's true. So when you look at this one, you can see also see it has steady option objectives, more, more about language, steady content, choosing aim, tuition fees. So every program here has tuition fee column. And the information about scholarship, whether there is scholarship or not, can always be found under the tuition fee column okay good so with this masters of science in photonics we just scroll down study objectives we can just get back to that let's see let's read under tuition fees because that is where we get to know the information about scholarship it says the annual tuition fee is 12,000 euros tuition fees are charged from the citizens of non EU of EU countries all new students who are admitted to master's degree program in photonics 2020 are required to pay tuition fees and are required to pay tuition fees are eligible to receive partial tuition waiver so it means that if you are supposed to pay tuition fee you are eligible to receive some partial waiver partial waiver means like they are going to waive some part of the school fees so if you are paying like 10,000 euros or 12,000 euros they can tell you to pay just thousand euros it means they've waived like eleven thousand euros good so let's read more the tuition fee waiver is 80 percent of the annual tuition fee for so it means that you are going to receive 80 percent of the annual tuition fee so if you're supposed to pay twelve thousand then 80 percent will be like two thousand uh, then 20 percent left will be like two thousand four hundred for the second year tuition fee, the waivers are available for students who have completed a minimum of 55. Okay, so it means that at least the 12,000 euros can be reduced to um, 2,400, which is good because at the end of the day, there are other scholarships too. There's just more information about scholarship. So we follow this link. More information about scholarship. So we come here to find out more information and this page has actually directed us to the university's main page where the program is good so let's see
what we can really get to know about. So in here, you can see um, for students who are required to pay tuition fees. Okay, so this is what we have here. And then um, student union fee. Okay, so this is student union fee as supposed to pay. And then tuition fee waiver, okay? Scholarship for living cost. You know, one thing is that most of the times we can get scholarship, but there are no living cost, uh, no living stipend. And this makes it more challenging. So at least we should be able to find out that whether the scholarship that we've gotten has some living cost, which is at least going to help or supplement our stay here, because it's not easy for you to stay outside the country without uh, um, scholarship for living stipend. So this is of interest. Scholarships to living cost are applicable for 10 admitted for 20 students, irrespective of whether they are required to pay tuition fee or not. The amount of this scholarship is 420 euros per month, up to 20 months. That is two years. The scholarship application is combined with the online application for master's program. If you are awarded a scholarship for a living cost, you will be informed about it in the official acceptance letter. Students allowed for support from the social students allowed for support from the social insurance institution of Finland, Kela, cannot receive the scholarship for living cost. Okay, let me interpret this. What this means is that you have 20 months, up to 20 months of um, scholarship. What what I am sure by now some of you will be thinking that okay, why is it that the whole year is 24 months, but I'm giving 20 months? Um Every year you are given 10 months because uh, they believe that the last two months, that is uh, August, uh, is it July, August, you will be going out to do internship. And then if you are going out to do internships or you are going to out to do summer work, it means that school is on break and there's no need for them to pay you. So then you can make some money on your own. That That is the point. And then you are given 420 euros per month which means that this amount of money can be able to, this 420 euros can be able to pay your accommodation here in Finland, as well as at least take care of your bus and your feeding. So this can do these three things, pay your, okay, depending on the, 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 the place, but for this particular university and this particular place, this 420 can pay for your accommodation, can also pay for your bus, that is 50 euros, and can at least also give you some an extra 100 or 120 euros for feeding. So if you are a young guy out there who don't really spend much and you are not, you've not given birth to anybody, I think the 420 is okay. Though our time we were taking more than this, but things change and it might be possible that by the year 2021, um, this amount of money would change or might not even be there. You understand? Okay, so good. So now we know that this particular program that we are trying to run, we want to apply is having scholarship. And the potential is that the first 10 uh, people are going to get scholarship. And then um, we also have some living allowance that, uh, okay, the all everybody's entitled to 80%, which they're going to waive it for all of you this very 2021. And then, um, 10 of you guys are going to get scholarship for living at once. But I'm sure right now you'll be thinking that why is it that 10 of only 10 of us are going to get scholarship and how can I even be among the 10? Academic achievement is very great. But in Finland, in my experience, it doesn't add up to the fact that you won't get an admission. And most of the times on this page, they can write that for tonics, you ain't so number of steady place is 20. Usually, that is the number of steady place. But the time that the admission comes, the number of people who gain admission to this university is more than 20 because not all of them comes. Yeah, not all of them come. So, because some apply uh, in other schools, they get the offer and then they reject it. So, that vacancy is filled by the next applicants. Good. So, you have to try your luck as much as possible. Just like right now, I know other guys have applied for other schools and they've gotten it of my guys and they are still waiting for admission in uef so that is also possible you understand good so don't let this one deter you from applying anything here. and then what is left is for you to take your time and read about this information steady objectives steady content and everything now you take your time and you go through everything 
this will not take you more than five minutes and this is the email of the program coordinator so if you have any other question you ask this program coordinator and she will be in a better position to um answer your questions for you now the point is how do we apply what are the requirements how do we apply what are the requirements what exactly do they need from us now that we like the program everything about this program is ours and we like it how do we apply the next process application process we move to the application process so in here in this application process what are we seeing here in this application process we can see that we have student admission to study program eligibility additional information on applying and admission service so we can open the tabs student admission to study the program good eligibility what makes you eligible for the program additional information and admission service so in here every for every application whatever you need to apply or you have to know before the application process is detailed here is detailed on this very particular page we even have country specifics that is this one country specific and it's like that for all other programs if you think your program is not like that just comment on that and i will uh, do a video on it and i will still post it to you one thing i like about the admission criteria in finland is that it, it's not just about the result as we receive from the student admission to the state to study program it's not just only about the result why am i saying that what i'm the reason why i'm saying that is that somebody might have a first class and uh okay you first let's check this out let's check the success of african studies will be graded using the following criteria so we have one two three four five so we have five criteria that we are going they are going to use to determine whether you are going to get admission or not good so now they will, the first thing they will check is suitability and the content of your previous studies to the area of photonics what does this mean this means is that um how does uh your previous studies that you like uh, undertook uh during your bachelor's degree uh suitable like how is it how does this fit into this very particular program what this means is that imagine you have two students one of them did physics and one of them did uh chemistry now all these two students are science students you understand but one thing is that the one who did phases did optics which basically is the photonics a modified photonics but the one who did chemistry didn't do optics so in such context or in such uh, con context the one who did physics is likely to have higher points than the one who did chemistry or the one who did physics has high or is likely to have i'm not saying will have is likely to have higher points than the one who did chemistry or the one who did um biology or the one who did uh let's say music you understand so and the total uh, point is from zero to five five means excellent when you get five it means that your previous program relates directly to this photonics course and then let's check point two applicant success in the previous studies in general this is where gpa comes in applicant success so in here that is where the gpa comes so if you had a very good gpa maybe with first class you can get five if you have upper you can get four if you have let's say uh, lower second class lower you can get three and something like that to zero i don't know zero whether zero is poor or no no grade at all or uh, pass or something like that. i don't know for that and the third point is applicants um success in the previous studies uh applicant success in the previous studies of the suitable field of science so in here somebody who did science 
is likely to have a higher point than somebody who did social sciences or social studies or something like that. And the fourth point is prestige and level of home university. How is your the home university that you attended? Is your university from like the maybe you attended a university that is not so popular? You may get this at three. I don't know, but maybe you, you are from Cambridge and you are coming to this very university. And then, or maybe you are from uh, Oxford and you are coming here, then you are likely to get five, which is that from first class universities to second class to third class to fourth class or something like that. And then applicants own explanation about their motivation to apply for studies, zero to five. And this is why you want to study the program. That is zero to five. So, and this way of admission makes the admission process very holistic. You understand? It makes it very holistic and fairly competitive. Like the, the, the criteria is so open. So it doesn't matter you have first class. It's likely you, you may not get admission because somebody may have second class lower or upper. Let me take two students. Let's say two phases students. They all did phases. One of them had lower, one of them had first class. Second class lower, one of them had first class. Now, the suitability and the content of the previous studies, if they are from the same university, they are likely to get the same point in the first round. Now, applicant success in the previous studies. Now, in here, the one who had first class may get five. The one who had lower may get two or three. Good. So in here, the one who had the highest GPA is leading. But applicant success in the previous studies of the suitable uh, field of science. Okay, so in here too, they all are related to sciences, so maybe they are getting similar grade. Now, prestige and level of the home university. Here, if you are from the same university, they are also likely to get the same point from here. Now, applicants own explanation about their motivation of, for studies. This motivation of studies is zero to five. And it have, have expresses or it, it tells the, the admission board why you want the program. So in this context, you may have, you may be a first class student, all right. And you can write an, a poor motivation and get one. And somebody may be a second class upper or lower student or even third class student. Write a very good motivation and get five. So when the person gets five here and you write a wrong motivation or a, a, a not so good motivation, you get one. You can see that at the end of the day, by the time they will total all of your maths, the one who is having a, a second class lower or upper will have a higher point than the one who is having second cl uh, first class. So when they arrange it, you can see that you may be a first class student, but you will not be on the top. So you can take opportunity of any of these options. So when you're writing the motivation, it should be well written. Because the prestige and the level of the home university, you can't do anything about it. It's the university attended. The only thing you have command over, and that really brings the changes between the application. Because most of the times, it's competitive. You can have like 10 people having the same first class. So the only thing that separates you guys it's your letter of motivation. And that is what you guys should have to take it very, very serious. Okay, good. So in here, you have extra information that you can find. Now, what do they need? Everything that they need is really summarized here. List of required documents. So we have the application form online. We have the original degree certificates um, in English. Uh, in you have the original degree certificate. Uh, so if you are coming from an English speaking country, then you don't have to translate it. You are already there. We need the original transcript of records, a copy of identification page of a passport. So by now you should be applying for a passport. If you want to go to school 2021 and you don't have a passport, by now you should be applying for a passport. Good. Copy of identification page, uh, copy of identification page of your passport. Okay. 
then certificate of proof of efficient English language skills. Most of the times, uh, some of the countries uh, the countries that study in English, because me, for instance, um, because my institution we study in English, English is our official language. All that I need to do is to just go to my university and then tell my university that hey, I just need to, I want to apply and I need um, a certificate from you that shows that I studied in English and it was accepted. You don't need TOEFL here. A personal, but some of the universities in Finland still need TOEFL. Yeah. A personal motivation statement. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Writing in English, describing the reasons for the application of the master's degree program, and the relevant experiences and the future careers and plan. And this is what really makes the differences. And I'll guide you as to how you can write a nice motivation skills with my own as a sample. Then you need two recommendation letters from academic or professors or referees with their contact information. This very point is very important. At first, it used to be part of the selection criteria, but now I don't think it is. But it's always advisable that if you have professors in your department, you take it from professors first, unless you don't have professors in your department. If there are professors, take it from professors. If there are um, doctors, you consider doctors before you consider lecturers or staff with masters. Good. And then a CV, a curriculum, um, Vita stating the main purposes uh, like a CV and then the CV they need it in an Euro pass format that is the format they need the CV I will also take you through how to create this um, I will take you through how to create this Euro pass CV Euro pass this particular Euro pass CV format and take you to the website so we are going to cover all of the other applications and the things you are supposed to do and what to do and what not to do, all of them. Even cover how to make, get this, um, make this Europa CV format. With mine as an example, I would guide you as to, do you know my network is much slow today. I'll guide you as to how you can really be able to apply. And then you make sure your application is submitted and given the deadline. I mean, in the year 2018, in our, um, during our time, we were asked to pro, um, send, um, they required like those required documents to them to post to them before even if we come by now it's not like that you don't need to uh, send any required document or anything like that all that you need to do is to just apply when you are picked then um, when you are picked for the like when you are selected then you submit it when you are when you get admission you are going good so basically this is um, and this thing works for all. This is about the university, whatever you want to get. And this thing works for all other programs that you can ever think of. They all have similar structure. So when you come here, where the program begins and end, and the program, the school fees, uh, this one is um, 15,000 euros. So when you enter a program like this, all that you need to do is to go to fees and check if there's scholarship. So the tuition fee is 15,000 euros for non-EU student. Further information of tuition fee and scholarship system. So we get to scholarship system. And uh, when the scholarship system opens, then we read information about that. It's the same for each, each every program that you search for. This information here is the same for every program you search for. Like today, I don't really know why my network is behaving like that but it seems to be yeah so be a game changer this is in place of auto so in here there's information about tuition fees scholarship and tuition fees i said be a game changer play so we have a little information about scholarships here okay this is the school fees so international double degrees may have their own tuition fee and scholarship schemes please read so you should be able to follow uh, okay we have other questions here yeah so this is a scholarship so auto university scholarship program so this one also has a scholarship program and we have to know how the scholarship programs actually works it says auto university scholarships cover either 50 percent category b or 100 percent so for them 
they can either give you a 50% scholarship or 100% scholarship. And normally, these scholarships are based on your your position, that is, um, your your level or your place on the admission list. So imagine if 20, uh, 50 people applied, after adding those points together, they will take and they need 20 students or 30 students. They're only just going to take the first 20. So imagine the first 20, they can decide to say that, okay, the first 10, top 10, will have 100% scholarship. And then the, the next 50, the next 10 will have 50% scholarship. That is the reason why when you are applying this scholarship, you are doing this scholarship, you have to take your time and then input everything very well. Your documents should be scanned very well and clean and nice so that you can really take your time to um, put in everything there. Everything should be nice, stand, scammed and scanned and stamped. And when you follow all these processes, I'm telling you that you are going to get the best scholarship. So how to apply for the scholarship? You, whatever, whatever, it's here and whatever, whatever, it's here. And then the duration of the scholarship. Scholarships can, are granted for a normative study period. So it's given to you during the time of your period. Uh, yeah. So if you have a bachelor's degree, you have three years for study. And if you are a master's degree student, too, you have two years full time study. Good. 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 So basically, this is how uh, this thing works. So you can do the same thing for any other. An example, if you are looking for, let's say, um, what other program can I even say? Nursing. So one other program is Nursing. Okay, let's say if you want to study nursing in Finland, master's in nursing or bachelor's degree in nursing or something like that. So in here, you can see that bachelor degree program in nursing and University of Applied Sciences bachelor's degree. The university that runs is a temporary University of Applied Sciences. We have this one, the same. But this Open University International Business Healthcare credit, 5 ECT. These are not programs. These are not a full master's uh, uh, course program. These are just normal semester program. That is the reason why we have the five ECTs and those kind of stuff here. So in here, this is the degree, this is the university that runs it, and this is the location. Okay. Okay, good. So basically this and this are like the same. So this is Bachelor of Healthcare, Bachelor of Healthcare, Bachelor of Healthcare, whatever, whatever. Master's degree program in Future Health and Technology. So if you have, if you want health related programs, they say, let's click on this. So in here too, the school fees is here. Oh, tuition fee. They say that you go for none or you pay 2000 euros. Really? This is too small. Okay, well, that is that. But I know our study is five, but most of the time they take more than five. So you don't have to be worried about the number of what they are picking. Yeah. And then whatever information that you need can be found here. So for me, there's no need for us to waste our time. We just go to school fees column and then we look for scholarship. So scholarship section. And then so two year scholarship that covers entire tuition fee for two academic years, two year scholarship 50%. So you can either get 50% or you can get entire tuition fee that is 100 percent also you can also have a scholarship that can be granted 30 percent of the student students and whatever 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 every scholarship so the moment you see that there is scholarship then we need to read we have to go back to this page and read everything about that the program and when we are satisfied with the program the only thing we do is we go to application process go to additional information and uh, check eligibility and see see so here, all together, you need 20 points. You need 20 points. So zero to a maximum of 15 points. Good. So you also have similar criteria. Your, your application is going to be evaluated based on the stats that you provide. You understand? Good. So you also have everything. But you have an entrance of every other mission, zero to 15 points. So it depends on where you are and then where they are writing this kind of entrance examination. Good. Yeah. So you have your eligibility, application requirement, who can apply, applying for the master's degree program, and the staffs you need. These are the staffs you need. So you just need one, two, three, four, five. These are the five staffs you need. You have a letter of motivation. And in here, the letter of motivation, they are telling you what they want. So you have to write your letter of motivation by answering these questions. 
describe your reasons for applying for the program um, describe your strengths and capabilities how does the program relate to your previous studies just like the previous questions you understand so with this um, things and admission criteria you can be able to find out whatever they need and you can put in for them anyway I'm also here to help and assist as to whatever I'm supposed to do so this actually brings us to the first part um, of um, the applications in Finland that is a Finland application system how it is the stuff like this is just a rough overview now in my next video I'm going to take my time and go back to the photonics because they are have similar thing and then we are going to cover how to um, provide those document application processes so now what is left is how to get this document this list of required documents and I think this list of required documents is this they have a lot of required documents and I think this is the similar and the same to most of the, uh, the programs on this platform that is the reason why I want us to cover this so that we can just extend it to other programs in Finland as well yeah so this brings us um, to the end of this very particular program the um, particular video in my next step because the application process is not ongoing I'm not going to cover this but I'm going to cover the list of required documents as well as how you can be able to get your CV in Europass format. And this is a requirement for most of the programs here in Finland, how to get your CV. So you already have a CV. If you don't have a CV, no problem. You already have a CV, so you can do that. And uh, if you have a CD, it's just easy. We just copy and paste. You understand? Good. So this is what where i'm going to end the first part and the second part i'm going to cover the list of application uh the list of required documents um that you need to get the application system ready so um yeah and then if if you have anybody out there kindly share this video to to them so that they can just come to my youtube page and watch them for free so I'm just doing this then as a guide. This this instructions here might change in the near future, but at least it will be a guide for anybody out there who wants to gain scholarship to study outside the country. I'm so happy that some of these guys have already gained admission already. And then they sent me messages. I'm so happy someone getting a scholarship of um I think um eight hundred and fifty euros. Uh, months uh, and then I'm very 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 happy very very happy yeah so I think that is that yeah so guys make sure you share these videos to your loved ones and people around you your brothers and sisters so that they can also follow this um, scholarship there's no need for you to find an agent okay so the next week as I'm saying I'm just going to but let's try to hit 100k subscribers so that at least I can drop the next list and let's my, remind ourselves that uh, the admission processes for next year 2021 begins this year so it's good we go through these processes as fast as possible to get ready for next year okay yeah so guys um, don't forget to share this video and then subscribe to my youtube channel yeah so um have a nice day and then we are going to see again yeah bye bye